There are certainties in life. Death, taxes. And if you listen long enough, then you're going to hear Donald Trump say something like this. We're having the best economy we've ever had in the history of our country. This is the greatest economy that we've had in our history. The best. We're having probably the greatest economy that we've had anywhere, anytime in the history of our country. So what about that greatest economy in history claim? It's clear the president's hanging a lot of re-election hopes on. But is it true? Well, it turns out, like 22,000 other things, it just isn't. Of course, to get to the greatest economy in history, Trump would have to first test his predecessor. That's where Chief Business Correspondent Christine Roman spoke out. Even before the coronavirus wiped out millions of jobs, jobs growth in Trump's first 36 months trailed the job creation in Obama's last three years. And as for GDP, Trump once said this about our gross domestic product. It was below zero. Who ever heard of this? Nobody ever heard of that because negative GDP simply doesn't exist. Also non-existent, I think we could go to four, five, and maybe even six percent. We never got there under Trump. Do you know when we did? In the 1960s, when GDP growth was nearly seven percent. Or the early 50s, when the GDP grew by nearly 9%. Best in history, right? And if you break it down quarter by quarter, Trump's real GDP before the pandemic looks a lot like Obama's. And it would appear that Trump is conflating his world's greatest economy with gangbuster stock market results, hitting record highs even during the pandemic. Here's the thing, folks. Wall Street is not Main Street. Get this. 10% of Americans own 87% of the stock market. And nearly half of Americans don't own any stock at all. All right, lightning round. Best unemployment rate before the pandemic, 3.5%, which is really impressive. But not as impressive as 1953, when it was 2.5%. Hourly earnings, up 3.4% under Trump, but up 3.7% under Obama. Manufacturing. Despite Trump's cheerleading the American factory worker, there's a good chance that worker's out of the job today, because manufacturing hit a decade low under Trump's stewardship. How about coal jobs? President Trump promised to save the coal industry, but the coal industry is off 25% this year, with at least 5,000 fewer coal mining jobs and more coal-fired plants set to close in Trump's term than in Obama's second term. Finally, let's look at deficits and debt, which fiscal conservatives used to campaign about. They are historically, breathtakingly high, set to exceed the size of the whole U.S. economy next year. No, Trump did not have the strongest economy in our history. Not even close. And that's your reality check.